Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shen, and this is Classic Shades Designs. For today's Tumblr Tuesday, I am going to show you how I got full coverage with one coat using Mod Podge. So I took my tumbler outside and I spray painted it this beautiful metallic blue color. And I'm going to use my matte Mod Podge, which is all that I have on hand. I don't think there's anything special to it. It's just what I had available. I'm also going to be using this Ocean Mist by T Glitz. Uh, isn't that so pretty? It has a beautiful sparkle to it. I just absolutely love it, but wait till you see it on the cup. I'm thinking about using her Sailor Uranus Crystal, which is part of her um, Sailor Moon Crystal collection that she has. This too is very pretty. I showed you the um, Sailor Mercury or Mars the other day, and I'm going to use her Artemis uh, Bling or Artemis Crystal, which is also a part of her Sailor Moon collection. I'll leave information linked below where you can go and purchase any of this glitter if you're interested in it. But here we go. So I'm, we're going to get full coverage on this tumbler, and um, I don't do the bottom because I've found for me that whenever I Mod Podge the bottom and then come in with epoxy, it just doesn't sit well for me. So I don't do the bottom, although I do spray paint it. One of my keys to getting full coverage on the first round is to start with heavy layers of Mod Podge. Now I know some people say do thin, and you can if you want to but I like to put on a really good coat like you see here and I'll work these lines out later but I first start with just three quarters of a cup and I work all the way around the cup just stroking three quarters and then I um, work my way up and as I work my way up the cup well let me make sure here we're getting the three quarters going so as I work my way up the cup, then I continue to stroke down on the bottom as well so that it doesn't dry out on me. So you can see here is where I'm, um, I'm stroking from the top and the bottom as I work now on the middle of the cup. For me, this works very well. And uh, you don't have to work as fast, although you don't want to lallygag, right? So, um, I'll just keep applying the epoxy or the epoxy. I'm so used to doing epoxy. I'll keep applying the Mod Podge like this until I have the entire cup covered. Now coming in with the Ocean Mist, um, I'm just going to sprinkle from the top and work my way down. And again, look at how pretty this color is. This is just adorable. It is so shimmery and so shiny. This color is um, from T Glitz. It's tglitz.com. And I am exclusive provider for her right now, at least as far as I know. Um, and if you would like to purchase this, you can use my discount code, which is Classy Shea, and you'll get 30% off. Um, so I'll just keep sprinkling all the way around and I'll circle, I'm circling the um, tumbler as I'm working because this will help me get that full coverage that we're talking about. And I mean, I am laying heavy amounts of glitter onto this tumbler and allowing it to fall off. I'll shake it down some and I just keep going at it. Because I used a thick layer of Mod Podge, it is, the glitter is just literally soaking into the Mod Podge. With the spray paint, with the way that I lay the Mod Podge, and with the drowning of it in glitter, we should have a pretty good coat on this first round and not have to do a second one. So now I'll show you how that looks. Look at the coverage. Soak it in. Soak in that bling off of this ocean mist and full coverage. Now I'm going to hit it to take off all the excess that should fall out. And I'm showing you again. Look at that coverage. Full coverage, you guys. This is so pretty. Now I'm going to set this aside. And because I didn't do the bottom, I can set it down. And I'm going to go put it under some epoxy once it dries. So I'll be back after this dries. Now, while that's drying, I have an idea of what I want to do on the bottom. I want to do something different. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Ocean Mist. I'm going to take some of the Artemis Crystal. Here's the Ocean Mist. And I'll take some of the Artemis Crystal and sprinkle this in here as well. 
and you can see about that much I'm just going off of my um, own judgment because I'm trying something different and I'm gonna mix these two colors together and see what they get it's kind of gray but now when I add the um, oh god what what is this sailor Uranus uh, to it I think that I'll have more of the blue color that I'm looking for and give me this mixture now <clears throat> This is so pretty. I hope I hope the screen is catching it. I know the camera keeps going in and out because of the shine and the bling. But I'm going to go ahead and brush off all the excess now that that's dry. Make sure that we get any excess glitter off of there. Because we don't want that to mess up when we do epoxy it. And now I'm going to come in just along the bottom because I'm not doing this on the whole thing. I'm going to come in just along the bottom and add my um, some Mod Podge so that we can put the special mix that I just put on the bottom of there around here. And again, I'm just freehanding this. If you want to be um, precise, you can measure it and you can draw yourself a line so that you will have a perfect line around it. But for what I have in mind to do to it, this freehand works for me. And again, to get that single coverage, I'm going to put thick layers, but make sure that they're smooth out. And then I'll just roll around and you can see how this works. You can see it's not perfect, but it's not um, all gunky either. And I'll now just spread my glitter over that. You guys, this is really pretty even mixed together. I should recommend that she um, put this in her store. But anyway, uh, these are the three blends mixed together from T Glitz, tglitz.com. I hope you guys aren't getting... Um, your eyes aren't hurting from the bling off that blue. Now I'll just take my finger and press down these chunky because the Uranus uh, collection that she has, it's a mixture of chunky, medium, and fine glitters together and they're beautiful. I have the coverage that I really want. I know it looks white on the screen, but when it dries, you see how that looks? I went ahead and added a little bit of bling to it because this is part of the design and I also um, sanded out the bubbles. Yes, I forgot that this is after the first layer of epoxy and it's still just a shiny. Look at that. And this is how it turned out. Oh my God, you guys. This is so pretty. So you can get full coverage with one layer of Mod Podge and one layer of glitter. Look at how pretty this cup is. I'll flip it over so you can see it again. The bling off of this tea glitz glitter, it's just to die for. Well, tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in our next video. Let's connect on my social medias. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.